Hi, I'm Neil Perry from Zen Software. In this short video, I'm going to explain how we can manage the different file group locations that MailStore uses to store email that is archived. And we're also going to look at how we can automate the task of creating a new file group every month. To start with, I just want to show you where MailStore stores its archived email and the folder structure it uses. Now typically when you install MailStore the default location will be C colon backslash mail archive but this can be any folder that you've chosen on the local server or indeed on a network share. Within this folder you'll find the master master database that's used for controlling the uh, for storing the configuration details or the user information um, but as well as that there's the default file group now this is the the default location for all of your email that is going to be archived and typically from a fresh installation this is the only file group that you'll have if we go into that default file group folder you can see that there are index files for each of the individual users of the MailStore installation. There are eight users on this particular test installation so there's eight index files um, and they're used to perform fast searching um, and they can be rebuilt at any time so they're not as important as the uh, the file group database here uh, the FDB file, that's a fiber database file that's used to store the mail information, the headers information for each of the messages the actual content of the message is stored within an encrypted file system within the content folder so by creating a new file group we can segregate blocks of email and we're going to choose to do this on a monthly um, period of time um, and it makes it a lot easier to move those file groups any time in the future should we want to get rid of some of the older email. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our management shell and we're going to set up a, an automated task. Now the task that you need to create is, um, is, is, is this particular one here. It's schedule file group create auto and this will automatically create a file group uh, you, and, and you have to give it a base directory location. So I'm just going to select this text and paste this in now. Press enter. Now that will fire up a, a scheduled task um, and it's asking you when do you want to run this scheduled task. Now we're going to choose other trigger because we don't want to run it daily. We effectively want to run this once a month. So if we choose other trigger, I'm going to run this task as the local system account but you can choose a particular uh, administrator if you want to. Now it's just warning me that the user's credentials are stored in the scheduled task, which I'm okay about because it's the local system account. So I'm going to add a new schedule and I'm going to change the scheduled task from daily to monthly. And I'm going to apply this on the first day of the month and I'm going to and I'm going to start the task at uh, one minute past midnight. So that's created an automatic uh, task now that we can see if we go into our administration tools and we choose uh, schedule tasks on MailStore it's this task here management shell uh, so on the first of the month at one minute past midnight it will run this task to automatically create a new file group so I'm just going to show you that uh, manually so what we'll do is I'll just look at the storage locations and you can see that we've only got the default file group at the moment and the, uh, the store for new email is indeed this, this default file group so if we run the scheduled task we've just created to simulate the next uh, first of the month. So that task is now running and in a second it should finish. And if we go into our storage locations, you can now see that we've got a new storage location which the format it chooses is year hyphen month. Um, in this case it's um, it's March because we're in March uh, and it'll change the new location for new email that's archived to that location so every month it will create a new folder and it will start adding all new email into that folder automatically now just to show you how that will look over time I'm just going to now switch to another server a live server which actually has lots of mail stored already now on this server you can see we're actually uh, chosen a path of D uh, a separate D drive but you can see that for every month that it's archived email uh, it's created a new folder group so you can see how many messages have been archived for that month how much space they're storing and it makes life a lot easier in the future let's say I wanted to uh, unmount all of 2009 email then I can select the the archive and detach them individually using the option down there 